the best team in the NFL? We got the Week 11 NFL Power Rankings. Baby, I got some new tiers for y'all. We got the Chiefs of Cheaters, bro. We obviously know what it's going to be in this part. But they can't keep getting away with this. Y'all know the meme from Breaking Bad. You can't keep getting away with this. It's literally the Chiefs, bro. Everybody that watches football understands the Chiefs cheat. Um, we got Super Bowl contenders, as usual. Uh, playoff locks, new frauds, tanking. Somebody smell like shit. But this is going to be not frauds. But I don't know about the playoffs. That's what we're going to do for that one, huh? That's what we're going to do. It's going to be in between. You know, it's not a couple teams that are going there. But let's get straight into it. Because the first team that we have is the Arizona Cardinals, who are number one in the NFC West. But this new thing I just made is where I feel the Cardinals belong. Like, 6-4, and four, Call of Duty came out, Kyler Murray's 3-0, and oh, it's pretty lit. But, like, I'm just not sure, bro. I'm not sure how far Kyler's really going to take this team. Like, can they win the division and make the playoffs? Yeah, I 100% think they can. And then in the playoffs, you know, anything can happen. But 49ers just got back Christian McCaffrey. Um, and I think it's a two-headed race right now between the Cardinals and... The 49ers, so we'll see in that division. Uh, but right now, I'm going to put the Cardinals here because I don't think they're frauds, but I'm not sure if they're going to make the playoffs. That's just going to be how it is. The Falcons, I think they're a bit of frauds, but I think they're also a playoff lock because their division stinks. Like, they lost to the Saints. Oh, well, Tampa Bay also lost, though. Um, the Panthers and the Saints won. They're both, what, 3-7. and seven. So it's not anything crazy. Um... They're still up like two, three games because they beat the Bucks twice. So they have that tie break over them as well. So they're more than likely going to the playoffs because the division is a bunch of bozos. But we got the Baltimore Ravens, um, got them in Super Bowl contenders. Lamar Jackson's MVP, Derrick Henry's probably Offense Player of the Year, him or Saquon. Um, yeah, they're looking like a very tough team to stop. I don't know what you do with that insane run tandem between Henry and Jackson. But, you know, I say it every week. It is what it is. They got a big game against the Steelers this week, though. Um, I'm excited to watch that. Got a lot of good games coming up this week for show. And one of those games is the Bills against the Chiefs. I think the Bills are Super Bowl contenders. Josh Allen has been throwing some more picks lately. But he's still looking like an MVP contender. Um, they're winning games. They're not fully healthy. I think Matt Milano's coming back. It's going to be big help to that defense who kind of struggles um, in some areas. But I think they'll be okay. The... Panthers, bro. I would just put the Panthers in taking, bro. You know, they got back-to-back -back wins. Um, Bryce Young's lit right now. Uh, good for Carolina, bro. Like, good for Carolina. They go and go ahead and get a top-10 pick again. But, you know, good for them for, you know, winning a couple games. I think I think that's cool. You know, shout-out Bryce Young. Um, it's crazy. The Bears, I really want to put them in tanking, but I feel better putting them as frauds because they was 4-2. and two. Everybody was gassing them up like they were so good. And they lost three games straight, and one of those losses being the New England Patriots, who you shouldn't lose to if you're hoping to make the playoffs. Now they're last in the division at 4-5. and five. The rest of the teams are like 6-3, and 7-2, and 8-1. and one. Um, So, yeah, they have a lot of division games coming up. They play the Packers this week. Uh, I mean, if they beat the Packers, I might have a little more faith in them, but I just don't think that happens. Pat Packers coming off a bye week also. So I'm not too sure how they, you know, come off there by uh, how they play after losing the Patriots. But we'll see. They're at home. They normally play well at home, even though they just lost last week. The Bengals, <sighs> I think it's time to put them in the tanking, bro. They're so good offensively, bro, but they can't stop a cold, bro. They can't. They can't stop a nosebleed. They can't stop anything, bro. Like, they couldn't stop me and the however many people are watching this and we filmed the best possible offense. They're not stopping us either. Um, so it's just bad. You know, it's tough for them. Um, you know, Jamar Chase and Joe Burrow are playing out of their mind, going to be all pros, going to be pro bowlers. But the rest of the team stinks. It stinks. Uh, the Browns, <laughs> the Browns, Dookie Browns, P-U. P-U, smell like... <laughs> Smell like Dookie Brown. Come on now. Like, the Browns stink. They had a bye week last week. They play again this week. I'm not looking forward to watching the Browns play any more football games this week. Except for Jameis' pregame huddles. Those are always lit. Cowboys, time to tank, bro. Time to tank for the Cowboys. Hey, three and six. Three and five, three and six. They're damn near as bad as the Giants in the division. Um, if I'm going to be honest, Dak's out for the season. Cooper Rush is playing. Uh, CeeDee Lamb, it's time to just pad your stats, bro. I mean, you already got all your money. 
try to figure something out, start signing a bunch of random players to see if they could play. Maybe you find a, you know, a gem, a hidden gem somewhere in the rough. Um, but I don't know. I'm not, I'm not seeing it. Broncos, not frauds, but I don't know about the playoffs. Um, who they just play? They just play the Chargers? I don't know. They just played. They lost to the Ravens like last week, got blown out. And this week, I don't even know who the Broncos played. It's, I can't. Th oh, they played the Chiefs. They got, they play the Chiefs. That's why the Chiefs are cheaters. Because they did their voodoo uh, Satanist tactic on the other team and they made them lose. It's crazy, bro. The Chiefs got to be studied, bro. It's, it just doesn't make sense to anybody. Uh, but, yeah. I don't think the Broncos are frauds. I think they're 5-5 five and five maybe. But, you know, they just play the Ravens and the Chiefs back-to-back. -back. That's going to be tough two games to win. They lost both, um, which makes sense. But I think they have a long shot at making the playoffs between them and the Chargers for sure. The Lions... Jared Goff throws five picks, and they still beat a good Texans team, and it doesn't make any sense to me. Um, but, hey, what, what are you going to say? I I don't know. Um, they're good. And they're a good football team. They can run the ball. Amon Ross tough. Jamison Williams is tough. If they need Tim Patrick to hoop, I think Tim Patrick is very capable of hooping. Uh, we got the Green Bay Packers. Not frauds, but I don't know about the playoffs. Because, like, look at the NFC, bro. There's three wild card teams. And then in the NFC North, you have the Lions or the Vikings. I feel like those teams are going to stay and be, you know, one team's going to win the division, one team's going to be wild card. In the NFC East, the Eagles and the Commanders, one team's going to win the division, one team's going to be a wild card. And then, like, you know, the next team on that list is probably the Packers. But, you know, don't forget about the Niners or the Cardinals, the loser of that division. And then the Falcons are probably going to be the only one, but maybe the Bucks sneak in somehow. Who knows, but the way it's looking right now, the Packers are looking like maybe the seventh seed or could fall to the eighth seed, but, you know, they got to win some games, and we'll see what happens. The Texans, I've said this in every video, they have a terrible division. Um, they can go 9-8 and eight and win the division, so they're a playoff lock. Um, do I think they're going to perform well in the playoffs? Not sure, bro. I'm not sure. CJ Stroud has shown me that he's an elite quarterback, and he showed me at times that you know, he's still a young second-year quarterback, which, you know, is understandable. Like, I'm not going to hold that against him. But when it comes to, you know, being frauds and I don't know about the, being in the playoffs, that's probably where they would be if they weren't in a terrible division. Colts, time to tank, bro. I don't see why you're playing Joe Flacco right now. I feel like this is a perfect time to be playing Anthony Richardson to develop him throughout the year, put him in high-pressure moments, and, you know, try to get him better. Like... If he doesn't start after this week, regardless of Joe Flacco wins or not, I don't know what they're doing over there. Like, why draft this guy if you're not even going to play him and give him the opportunity? Yeah, he can develop behind Flacco, a Super Bowl winning quarterback. That's fine. But I think he needs to just get reps in, for real, to understand his mistake. Let him throw his 20 picks and fumbles and do amazing plays, but I think you let him get his reps, for sure. Uh, yeah, Jags, P.U., P freaking U. I'm going to just put the Chiefs here. I don't even want to talk about these goofy ass teams, bro. Like, the Chiefs, bro. They're freaking cheaters. It doesn't make any sense. But yeah, the Jags, P U. The Raiders, P U. <laughs> Both, all three of these teams stink. I feel like these three teams have stunk my entire life. <laughs> like, both teams had one year in the last 20 years where they were good, besides the Raiders going to the Super Bowl that one year. But like, the Raiders in what, 2018 when Carr was frying? No, 2020. Or 2018 or 2020. They could have beat the Bengals, who ended up going to the Super Bowl in 2020. But I think 2018, he was frying. The Jags, when they blew that lead to the Chargers, and then the Browns have never been good. It's just, like, tragic, if I'm going to be honest. Uh, the Chargers, I'm tempted to put them as a playoff lock, bro. Justin Herbert is playing incredible this season. But for now, for now, I'm going to put them in not frauds, but I don't know about the playoffs. Um, they have a really good shot because the AFC has a lot of boo-boo teams. Um, so, yeah, we'll see. The Rams. I went to the Rams-Dolphins game. Um, bad game. A lot of field goals. Eight combined field goals between two teams. Nine were kicked, but eight went in. Uh, bad game. Not frauds, but I don't know about the playoffs. I still think the Rams are good. They have good players on their team. Uh, Matthew Stafford can look like one of the best quarterbacks in the league at any point. But, uh, right now, I'm not really feeling the Rams. Um, the Dolphins, they can tank. They're not frauds. They had an injury this year. It's tough. Like, they're 3-6, three 3-7, and 3-6. Three and and I mean, could they make the playoffs? Yeah, but they got to win a lot of games. 
Um, they're not beating the Bills. They're not catching the Bills in the division. But if they take care of business against the Jets both times, and then I think they play the Patriots again, they might be okay. They might be okay. Uh, the Vikings, I can put the Vikings in playoff lock. They got seven wins. That's tough to do in this league. Seven and two. They had two and two in the last four games, which is a little shaky, but it's fine. Um, the Patriots just got a big win, bro. I still think they're tanking, but they just got a big win, which is, you know, really good for them. You know, it's cool. It's, it's valid. Uh, the Saints were frauds at the start of the season, but now they're just in the tanking section. Like, a lot of these teams are kind of just playing to ruin somebody's chances of the playoffs. That's what it's giving. These teams, I don't think they're ruining anybody's chances. I think you play these teams at the bottom, and you're like, oh, yeah, free W. And I'll add the Giants to that. But the Giants haven't been asked my whole year, my whole life. Like, they've won two Super Bowls in my lifetime, so they're valid. Jets, frauds. I was hyping up the Jets last week. I'm sorry. I'm absolutely sorry. But it's time. It's time to put the Eagles up here. I don't want to talk too much about the Jets. They're terrible. They make me mad. I'm not even a Jets fan, but they suck. But a team that is good, the Eagles, I think they're a Super Bowl contender, bro. I think they're the second best team, if not, nah, the second best team in the NFC. So that automatically makes you a Super Bowl contender. Um, they're looking good, bro. Jalen Hurts had some turnovers last week, but they still blew out the Cowboys. A uh, Hurt Cowboys team, yes, Michael was back, cool. But Jalen Hurts makes plays. Uh, A.J. Brown makes plays, Devontae Smith makes plays, Dallas Goddard makes plays, and definitely Saquon makes plays. So as long as they stay healthy, I think they're looking good. And their young guys on defense are playing really well. Um, Vic Fangio got them playing out of their mind. Steelers, borderline Super Bowl contender. I just don't know if I believe it because the Steelers always played good in the regular season and then they lose in the first round. Um, but, yeah, I like the Steelers this year. Russell Wilson's 3-0 and since playing. Um, and, yeah, they're looking good. 49ers, I think they're locked to make the playoffs, whether it's the wild card or winning the division. Um, CMC's back. They already looked so much better last week. Even without uh, Brandon Ayuk, they can still win games. Juwan Jennings is good. Ricky Pearsall looks like a good draft pick. Um, so shout out to him. Seahawks are frauds. Seahawks are frauds. Um, I won't call the Bucks frauds because, like, they're injured, bro. They lost both of their best two receivers, and Baker's doing everything he can. Baker's kind of having a Jameis-type year, if I'm going to be honest. Titans, the Titans, I like the Titans, I'm going to say they're tanking, I'm going to say the Titans are tanking, I don't think they smell like shit, but I'm going to say they're tanking for sure, and the Commanders, big game against the Eagles this week, I'm excited for it, um, I'm going to go Commanders are a playoff lock, because the Eagles and Commanders are coming out of the NFC, and both of them make the playoffs, who wins the division, I don't know, but that, that but that's that, that's the list, um, we got five Super Bowl contenders, obviously the Chiefs are a part of that list with the Ravens, Bills, Eagles, and Lions. Playoff locks, looking pretty solid. Looking pretty solid. The list is saying pretty similar, you know, week by week. If one of these higher-up teams loses to a bad team, then it's just like, you know, they drop. Like, if the Eagles would lose or the Commanders would lose this week, I'd still have them both as playoff locks next week. But if a team like the Bears blow out the pact, I might move them up and say they're not frauds no more. But that's that. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe on this video. Appreciate y'all for tuning in every week on my power rankings. Because I do be chatting for like 12, 15 minutes. But it is what it is. You know, I'm going to see y'all later. Comment if you want to see more videos. Make sure you tune in on Thursday when I give you my weekly picks. Yes, sir.